is going down for a nap. I wanted to show you our closet. Far from done, but we've got everything in here and wearable and unpacked and stuff, so that's cool. But um, there's a lot of stuff I wanna do in here. I wanna make it super cute, super practical. Pra practical. Um, we're gonna get rid of the two dressers. That one's gonna go in my office, and then I don't know what we're gonna do with that one. Andrew might put it in his office. But we're gonna have everything hung up, or we're gonna get like little boxes for like socks and underwear and stuff like that for there. So yeah, I don't know. If I end up doing that soon, that might be a day of vlogmas. You know, getting the things. I want to put a second dowel rod probably on both sides and then have like long dresses and stuff that's long all in the back. Um, just, you know, to utilize extra space if we're going to hang up all of our pants and all of our, you know, basically everything, then I think having that second dowel rod be good because, like, if you look at it, I mean, literally, there's all that wasted space. So, might as well use the dowel rod. Stuff like this can be hung differently to where it's not hanging so low. And then, like I said, just the very back wall can be stuff like dresses and robes and, you know, some of my longer cardigans and stuff like that that does need the extra space. Um, so yeah, I thought for that. Um, but we're pleased because we have the closet, like at least in place and functional. It doesn't look so pretty, but it's functional, and that's that's the main thing. I mean, I can wait two years to get it, like, cute and pretty if I need to. So, don't mind our room. We haven't gotten curtains yet. <laughs> I shouldn't show you that. Um, but yeah, everything's getting unpacked really well. My office is still completely... That's it. That's my office right there. So here is the progress on the kitchen. Boxes that I just haven't gotten around to yet. That's our table, by the way. I think in the next day or two, my project is going to be our table. It has to be refinished. I will go further into why and what happened and all the different things in the video that I dedicate to the table because I think it would be kind of a cool video. But I'm gonna refinish our table. And so we're using that in the meantime and we haven't even gotten our chairs yet. So we're using our ottoman for a chair but um this is the progress in the kitchen i have almost everything put away at this point um kind of we andrew and i figured that the best way to tackle Maybe i should flip you around andrew and i figured that the best way to tackle moving and stuff like that and make it as smooth as possible is to kind of just do one room at a time so i've been picking away at the kitchen um this whole time which has been like three days and Andrew has been doing the bedroom and the closet and stuff like that, which I already showed you. So yeah, it's going really good in here. My bun died. So I just spent some time doing giveaway stuff, Instagram stuff. Go check my Instagram if you're watching this like this week. Um, I'm doing a giveaway and it's all related to Vlogmas and subscribing and liking the videos and stuff like that. So go check out my Instagram page. There's a giveaway that you might as well enter. Um, I really need to like dig out my concealer. The under eye bags are real today because I was up so late. The baby's awake. I'm not gonna go get him though. My dad is coming over because our washer and dryer are missing like a hose or something. So I want him to figure out, because Andrew, he was gonna do it this weekend, but now he's at work and he's not gonna get the chance until next weekend probably. And I don't wanna wait that long for my washer and dryer. So I'm having my dad come over and he's gonna look at it, figure out what hose we need if we actually need a hose go get it for me and put it all together and stuff like that so I'm waiting for him to come over he should be here in a minute our washer and dryer upstairs like our, our laundry room is upstairs which i've never seen before but anyway so he had to go get some parts for that but look who's awake yeah. ah. he's obsessed with my like decor limes and I just caught him trying to eat it. Don't eat my limes, son. They're plastic. I just caught this child in here in my office with my makeup stash. That bowl was full of all my lipsticks. And he grabbed them all and was throwing them. No, stop. No. No, no, no. 
No. You're obnoxious. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I do want my eyeliner. Thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, so kind and helpful. Well, it's like 4.30 now. I've just put the baby up for another nap. My dad came and got all of the, like the washer and dryer, mostly hooked up. I think we need to like zip ties and that's it. So I finally have a working washer and the dryer will be working tonight when Andrew gets home and does that. Um, oh, what am I doing? Okay, I'm getting ready to go upstairs, do a little bit of editing. Hopefully get the tomorrow's vlog totally edited. That way it can be exporting during like dinner and stuff like that and be done. And that way I can go ahead and upload it and everything before we go to bed so it has all night. I'm just making a quick cup of tea. Where did I put the tea? Not tea, I don't like tea. Uh, chai tea, which is very, very different because it's actually delicious. I think I've showed this on a vlog before, or at least on Instagram stories before. But if you're into chai tea like I am, this stuff is so good. It's like, I love going like to Starbucks and Lucky Perk is, I think has the best, um, which is the same as Moxie Java. Apparently it's not in all 50 states. So if you don't have Lucky Perks, you have Moxie Java, which is the same thing. Um, this is the best at home version that I have found. So good. I've only ever had it hot. I know you can make it cold and you can blend it, which I think is really cool because even like the teas, like I have like these, like the chai, like tea bags. I'm not a fan of these. They always are powdery on the bottom and they just don't have that yumminess to them. This stuff's really good. So go ahead and screenshot that. I get it because it's so good. And it's like just in the hot chocolate aisle with like the instant coffee and stuff like that. So good. And like, it was like three bucks. Chilly, I don't know why I'm chilly, but it's chilly, just a good day to be chilly. So Andrew is home from work and it's six o'clock. I got the video completely done. It's exporting, which is so nice. It'll be done exporting by the time we're done with dinner probably. And before we go to bed, I'll have it uploading to YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on dinner. I'll show you what I'm cooking and then I'll probably sign up for the day, so. We didn't have a lot in the fridge, but I'm just using what we had and creating a yummy sounding meal. Hopefully it turns out good. But this is a pound of burger and a pound of sage sausage. Sage is our favorite flavor. Um, it's Jimmy Dean, in case you're curious for some reason. But anyway, I'm cooking up a pound of each together. Just basically adding in the burger kind of makes the sausage not quite as strong, which is what we prefer when we're doing something that's not, you know, breakfasty or whatever. So I'm going to cook up two pounds. I'm going to save one pound and I'm going to make breakfast bowls with it to feed William every morning. And then use the other half for dinner tonight. Alrighty, so I've got the half burger, half sausage in there, and that's half of that mixture. The other half is here. I'm gonna turn it into breakfast bowls tomorrow, probably. And then I put in some, oh, I already put the bag away. So I put in some potatoes. They're just like frozen, cut up, like the Southern style hash browns or whatever. You can use them for other things besides that, because I don't have any real potatoes quite yet. So using it for that, and then, I just a little bit of heavy whipping cream to make this yummy sauce. All of the um, flavors from the sausage are gonna make it nice and yummy and tasty. And then I'm gonna put in a little bit of spinach and it's gonna be great. I usually do stuff like that with um, noodles, but I don't have any noodles, so I figured potatoes would be really good. 
So that's the finished product. I'm sure it'll taste amazing because it's kind of the base ingredients of dishes that I've made before. It's just with potatoes and instead of raviolis is really, really good. Noodles is obviously really, really good. So yeah, normally I would add maybe like an onion or I don't know, some other kinds of veggies and stuff like that, but I don't have very much in my kitchen right now. So that'll be delicious. I think I'm gonna sign off. Say hello. Okay, we gotta show the bubble gum cup. We got that on our honeymoon. And it's so much more meaningful now because bubble gum is gone. So sad. So I'm gonna sign off now. We're gonna go have dinner and then I'm gonna do some meal planning because I have to go grocery shopping and like get some food in this kitchen tomorrow. So thanks for watching. What do you have? I will see you tomorrow. If we're not listening, Hey, no, you can't be that smart. You figured it out real quick. <laughs> you gotta show the camera how cute you are. Okay, you're a little moo moo. You're a little moo moo. This is this moo moo head that we got. It matches our cat perfectly. Even the pink who has not moved nice. into this new house yet. But. See, I told you the new head would come in handy someday. Uh huh. Very important to keep. Is that kind of scary? Is that kind of scary?